True story. A couple of years ago, I was showing houses to this really fantastic couple and I get to the house early and I turn on all the lights and I make the house look amazing. And the couple comes to the house and I open the door and this cat runs behind me. And the wife looks at me and says, I am not going into that house. And I looked at her and I was like, why? And she said, because I am deathly afraid of cats. Fastest showing of my life. Moral of the story, you're not going to win them all, but we're here to tell you how to sell your house with pets. Okay, so here's the top three tips for selling your house when you have pets. The number one thing is that some people just don't like pets. <laughs> what? Who doesn't like pets? I know, really, right? <laughs> Check this out. So, did you just do that over my face? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so at the, at the end of the day, some people like pets, some people don't, but those that don't really like pets, or maybe they're just allergic, you know, they're thinking about, I gotta clean the ducks, I gotta tear out the carpets, the dollar signs are racking up in their mind. True. Okay, so tip number two. You know what, at the end of the day, sometimes some animals smell, right? Not all of them smell wonderful. You may have the wet dog smell, you may have the kitty litter <laughs> smell. Um, some people might like the smell of wet dog. Hey, can I borrow your rodent? Yeah, I get uh, smelly garbage or old dumpster. You get the uh, low tide? No. How about wet dog? Yep, stick it up. Yeah, thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> no problem. That's true. You know what? Some people do like the smell of a wet, wet dog. But we're not all monsters. <laughs> That's right. So there's a few things that you can actually do to, uh, you know, help mitigate that, uh, that issue potentially while you're getting your house ready. So one of the things you can consider doing is having a friend or family member take the animal uh, when you're getting the house ready and maybe for the dura duration of the listing. Or, or you know what, if, uh, if that's not an option, maybe, you know, look into a kennel, something like that, right? Uh, a little bit more costly, admittedly. However, when you look at the return on investment for selling your house and not turning off potential buyers, it's definitely worth that investment. Yep. And if neither of those are an option for you, uh, one thing that we find that works really well is possibly um, quarantining your dog or your pet uh, to a specific area of the house um, and being diligent on cleaning up after them. So kitty litter, dog food, dog hair, um, muddy paws, etc. All the stuff that mm -hmm. smells. Yes. Okay, so tip number three, showing your home when your pet's at home and you aren't. Right. Okay. So you, you're at work. You left at 8.30 in the morning. It wasn't bring your pet to work day that day. And you get a notification at 10 o'clock that there's a showing request at, you know, 12 or 1 o'clock. What do you do? You can't leave work to run home and take your pet out. So? You could have friends, family, neighbor, dog walker come and get your pet. Yeah. Or you could also crate them in the, in the basement. Leave a little note. Do not let the dog out or the cat. Um, or heck, get your realtor to come and get them. We do it. We do it all the time. All right, so that was a few tips for you for selling your house when you own pets. And uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, that was episode four of Roach Family TV. Thank you very much for watching. Look, look out for episode number five. And of course, I would encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any future episodes. Thanks for watching.